The pandemic has highlighted the importance of strong national and subnational health systems at the foundation of global health security and universal health coverage. Strong and resilient health systems are the best defense, not only against outbreaks and pandemics, but also against the multiple health threats that people around the world face every day. And yet, on current trends, more than 5 billion people will lack access to essential health services by 2030, including the ability to see a health worker, access to essential medicines, and running water in hospitals. Gaps like this don't just undermine the health of individuals, families, and communities. They also put global security and economic development at risk. The world spends around US 7.5 trillion on health each year, almost 10% of global GDP. But the best investments are in promoting health and preventing disease at the primary healthcare level, which will save lives and save money. Prevention is not only better than cure, it's cheaper and the smartest thing to do. The COVID-19 pandemic will eventually recede, but there can be no going back to business as usual. We cannot continue to rush to fund panic, but let preparedness go by the wayside. As we work on responding to this pandemic, we must also work harder to prepare the next one. Now is an opportunity to lay the foundations for resilient health systems around the world, which has been ignored for long. That includes systems, that, systems to prepare, prevent, and respond to emerging pathogens. If we learn anything from COVID-19, it must be that investing in health now will save lives later. History will judge all of us, not only on whether we got through this pandemic, but also on the lessons we learned and the actions we took once it was over.